Central Little League player. He started with us at the T-ball division, about that age. He's, uh, we tried to get him in his T-ball shirt today, but he wouldn't fit. He is, however, wearing his Falcon Club shirt, which uh, played with us three years ago. About, about three years ago on Falcon Club, he was coached by his father, uh, Chris Reed. Uh, in their last year, they were an undefeated team. They won the city championship that year. He is currently playing with the Albemarle High School baseball team. He plays outfield, first base, and he also pitches. In addition, Scott is also an active member of the Albemarle High School marching band, where he plays tuba. Please uh, give Scott a warm welcome as he gives us our keynote address here. Hello, everyone. My name is Scott Reed. Um, as a former Central player, I'm very excited to return here and enjoy the comfort of my second home once again. I was 12 years old the last time I played on this field. And that was an amazing 12-year-old season. We won every game and then went on to win the city championship. But you know what's really important is that, you, you probably won't believe this, but that season wasn't really any better than my 10 or 11-year-old seasons. In those years, we lost almost every single game and finished in last place. Maybe I should have been completely depressed and never played baseball again, but that's not what the atmosphere of Central promotes. When I reminisce about playing at Central, of course I remember the fun of winning. There's real joy in that. But when I drew up to the field today, what I remembered was the interactions I had with all the people who played here. In Central, I knew every player, I knew every player on every team, and they all knew me. My team could lose a game by 20 runs. Yes, that happened several times. And after the game ended, both my team and the other team would head behind the snack bar to play wall ball together, or we'd hang around the concession stand to try and get a few leftover free hot dogs. <laughs> We'd be joking and playing while the coaches, our dads, finished dragging the field, and the other dads and moms closed down the concession stand. Eventually, a group of us would move back onto the field and get yelled at to get off the freshly ranked infield. We'd slide onto the grass field back there and see who could slide furthest down the hill, and you would see parents driving away or driving to the bottom of the hill, yelling at the kids to get into the car or else they would be walking home. We just, we just loved playing baseball. Baseball, wall ball, run down, home run derby, it didn't matter as long as we were here. Five was the gold number. That's when I got the first play here and that's when I played t-ball. My, my favorite part of playing t-ball was being a catcher and when the last hitter stepped up to the plate, the last hitter would have to run around the bases as you know the rule goes. And I would just stand there and immediately when the ball was hit, I would start calling for the ball and I would just start tagging out everyone who came across the plate. The guy in second base would come, I would tag him. First base would come around, last year I'd come around, I would tag him. That was my favorite part of that. Seven years old was my first minor B year. We played some games here on the upper field and some games down in the lower field. And I'm a lefty hitter, and there's that patch of grass out there in right field. So every single time I stepped up to the plate, I would try and pull everything into that grass because that was considered a home run. Eight years old was my first minor A season. We won the championship that year, and that was pretty cool. But what I remember most about that year was Coach Gear allowing me to practice with his major team. That was a really good experience. Thank you, Coach Gear. Uh, nine years old, I started my major league career. We had a good season, but what I remember most is getting a hit off D.G. Archer, who was a really good 12-year-old pitcher. <laughs> I already told you about my 10, 11, and 12-year-old seasons. My dad was the coach. My one sister ran the scoreboard and kept the stats. My mom ran the concession stand. My older brother came and helped out at practices when he was in town and my brother-in-law even did some announcing. Baseball is a family thing. I was just the one on the field. And while my family still follows me around from field to field, there's also a family on the field. Lastly, I want to talk about this jersey. I'm wearing, I'm wearing it the same way I did three years ago. Top button, un, unbuttoned. Um, what this jersey really reminds me about is how my 10, 11-year-old year, we lost almost every single game. I think we only won two of my 10-year-old year and we won three or four of my 11-year-old year. But that didn't really matter to any of us. None of us ever gave up. We were always in the game no matter what, no matter what the score was. We were down 20 runs, and we would all still be in the dugout yelling as loud as we were in the first inning. And you probably all hear this a lot, but it really means a lot more than you think. Teammate chemistry was probably the most important thing for our team. And it would have been impossible for a team like us to go undefeated, a team where we didn't have the greatest talent out of some of the other teams in this league, yet we still won because we played together better than anyone else. 
our semifinal game of the state championship, we play a team called Barracks Road. And I can tell you that team was skill-wise much better than us. They were they were much better skill-wise talented. Skill-wise, they were much more talented than us. But we we edged the game out by one run, and that's because no one on our team ever gave up. We played together better better than any team I've ever seen. We played together better than any team I've ever played on in my life. So that that was what I remember most about my experience here at Central. And one more thing I want to address. It was said that this field is kept in really good condition, and I want to say that I now play high school baseball for my team, and this field is in much better condition than half the fields we played on this year. So be very thankful about that. Thank you guys for having me here today, and I look forward to... Matthew Huntley catching him. Matthew and Scott actually played together on Falcon Club. Enjoy the